Well, you know, for the first thing is in phase one trials are in patients that have had standard therapy. And either that standard therapy has quit working or never worked. And so clearly we believe that patients should, you know, initially start out getting um, drugs that have a track record. Um, phase one trials that we run, um, we often present it to the patient as another, as one of several options that they have. Um, but I think many, many patients um, are very interested in trying to move the field forward in targeted therapy because they've had friends and family that have been exposed to fairly toxic chemotherapy. And so we generally try to present it to the patient as being part of an important component of uh, drug development. Uh, and generally, most of the drugs that are on the market, we can usually point to and say, you know, phase one is really the first component of effective therapy. And I think now that we have drugs that are really interesting and biologically targeted rather than just uh, chemotherapy, uh, many, many patients are interested in pursuing um, clinical research. Most of my patients uh, continue to work if they're still working. Uh, they have very active lives and uh, they may have had one or two treatments for their metastatic cancer and uh, they're not very far along in their disease and generally are in the uh, mindset of really trying to not only find something that might work for them, uh, but also to, they look around and want to contribute to research. And for us, it's a really, really good partnership because we understand the amount of time and effort it takes for them to participate in a clinical trial, not to mention if they have side effects. Um, and, you know, on the other hand, this is really drug development process. It's how it works.